Nolan Jen here at Hoppers in Helen, Georgia. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Jen. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for what to do in Georgia, join us on this episode of our USA Travel Vlog as we head to Helen, Georgia to experience a German-American Oktoberfest meal at Hoffer's Bakery and Cafe. This is a very popular spot in Helen, Georgia, and folks line up to eat breakfast and lunch here. They also have free parking back behind the restaurant, which also makes them quite popular. Hoffer's Bakery and Cafe is located in Helen, Georgia at 8758 North Main Street, which is about eight and a half hours and 555 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Helen, Georgia is known for having one of the largest celebrations of Oktoberfest in the USA, and Hoffer's Bakery and Cafe definitely gets into that festival spirit. This business is located in the former location of the First National Bank of White County. Hoffers has a beer garden located on their front porch and offers a selection of German beers to help you with your Oktoberfest celebration. This is my first visit to Helen, Georgia, and also my first visit to Hoffers Bakery. And this is my first place that I'm going to be eating at in Helen, Georgia. So I'm pretty excited. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. And whoa! I was already pretty pleased with the beer garden on the porch outside, and then they have quite a nice selection of nice looking items in here. So they have some definite nice looking cuts of meat in here with their German deli with sausages, cold cuts, and cheese. Then they've also got a nice selection of draft beer with an American Miller Lite and then a selection of German beers. So lots of great things on tap with proper sized German drinkware. The bakery side over here has a fantastic selection of breads along with some donuts and a very popular apple fritter. Then they have a selection of all kinds of different cakes and cheesecakes and cannolis. Then they've got this really good selection of your bread right here you need to check out. I think the bread was probably the best thing I had out of those things so far. I need to try the apple fritter still. They also have a little German market here with different German products and that gift vault's located in the old bank safe, but it's pretty cramped full of supplies. So you can't really see all the things in there. So they've got quite a nice little delightful selection of some nice little German items that you just don't see in most other locations. Now this line took hours. I was standing around forever starving, wanting to eat. They do have a nice selection of some of their fancier cakes here. And then they have more German products here, along with some more of their bread that's bagged up for sale in these baskets right here. So they have quite a nice little selection of some different items. And then they have quite a little list of awards right here they've earned right here. So they are well acclaimed. All right, finally, I got up to the hostess to be seated. And we can finally see the dining room. And it's a pretty tiny space, so maybe that's why it takes so long. And uh, there were quite a lot of people here today, but it started to clear out and they have the walls really nicely decorated in here. So it is a pleasant, comfortable little small area in here to enjoy a good meal and some good time. So I'm looking forward to see what all's available to eat here. So let's check out the menu. So we have hot sandwiches with the famous Hoppers Reuben, a schnitzel delight, a knockwurst on pretzel roll, a grilled flatbread sandwich, the Rachel Reuben Sister Corned Beef, Philly Cheese Steak Sandwich, a Hot Sliced Turkey on Kaiser Roll, a Chicken Schnitzel Delight, Hoffer's Hot Pastrami on Rye, Bratwurst on Bavarian Pretzel Roll, Grilled Ham and Swiss on Rye, Grilled Chicken on Kaiser Roll. Then we have Deli Sandwiches and Soups with a Home Baked Roast Beef on Rye, a Hoffer's Famous Po Boy with Roast Beef, Ham, Salami, and Swiss Cheese, a Ham and Swiss on Rye, a soup and half sandwich, a sliced turkey sandwich, a spatzel soup, and then we have a Ellen vegetarian sandwich. Then we have our goulash soup, our tog soup. Then we have beer, wine, and beverages with draft beers, Coke products, iced tea, Sutter Home wines, and juice. On the other side of the menu, we have entrees with Wiener Schnitzel, Schlachtplatte Hofer. Jäger Schnitzel, Schlachtplatte für Two, Zigeuner Schnitzel, Kassler Ripken, Hähnchen Schnitzel, Gemister Wurstteller mit Sauerkraut, Hungarian Goulash, Gemüse Spatzel, Pan Fried Rainbow Trout, Rindsulade mit Spatzel und Rotkohl, Sauerbraten mit Rotkohl und Spatzel, Liebrekäse mit Kartoffelsalat und Spiegelei, Ein paar Bratwurst oder Nackwurst, 
Spassel Schweizwild. Pinchin Schnitzel mit Speck und Pilsram Salsa. Sides, German potato pancakes, Hoffer's potato salad, mashed potatoes, spatzel, sauerkraut, red cabbage, Hoffer's bread and roll basket, bread plate, Bavarian pretzel dumpling, kraut salad, mushroom gravy, single verst, Bavarian pretzel with mustard, then we have desserts with German torts, black forest cheesecake cup, chocolate eclair, giant cream puff pastry, and apple strudel. So mein Deutsch is schlecht and I know enough to get me in trouble there. So let's get back to what I'm good at with beer. So we have Hoffer's beers on draft with Pauliner Oktoberfest Amber, Pauliner Original Munich Lager, Hofbrau Pilsner, Erdinger Hefeisen, Erdinger Dunkel Dark, Miller Light, and Oktoberfest Specials with a Pauliner Rattler. And ask about our one liter glass mugs and the glass boots. Then we have a sandwich special with Hopper's famous chicken salad sandwich. Comes on your choice of fresh baked butter croissant, butter crust white bread, served with kettle chips. So I was starving and I went ahead and put my order in for the Sauerbraten with red cabbage and spatzel. So let's dig in. It's got a little sauce here with cranberries on it. In uh, Germany, it would have lingonberries on it usually and not the cranberry. So the uh, meat is flavorful. It's a little tough though. I definitely have had more tender sour broth and this is a little bit on the tougher side, but there's some good flavors here. And this cranberry sauce is uh, making for a pretty nice gravy overall. It's not a lingonberry, so it's not quite like you would get in Deutschland. So it's a little bit of a different flavor there. Now here we go with the red cabbage here. I always like a little yum 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 there. So that's good stuff. I do enjoy it. And we've got to get some of the spatzel here. This is almost like pasta noodle with a little cheese on there. Okay, so it's a little bit like a macaroni and cheese. And look at this delicious bread roll. This looks nice. Ooh, all right. Mm. Okay, so they do bake good bread here. I do like the bread here quite a bit. Let's get one of these pieces of the sliced bread. These are pretty. I like the way they look. Okay, very nice little touches all around. Give it a little sample and oh yes, this has some nice, nice little flavors to it. I do enjoy the texture of it. There goes a tomato. It's like a little salad on the side there as well. And plenty of the spatzel and I'm doing a pretty good job of taking down this whole plate of food because it is way in the afternoon far past my normal lunchtime and I'm starving so here we go a little more of the red cabbage Ooh, it's got some decent flavors in here it certainly is a pleasing thing to eat with the red cabbage the uh, gravy and the cranberries on the sour brats are pretty good the meat has a little, little more of the tough chewiness uh, above and beyond what I would prefer. And here we go with the last bite. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this food. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. Now, next, I got the Black Forest Cake for dessert. And usually, I love Black Forest Cake. So, let's dig in and give this one a try. I'm already a little uh, not knowing what's going on. It's not all chocolate. There's some yellow cake in the middle. This should be all chocolatey goodness with just some cherry inside of it. So, ooh, mm, okay. So this icing is not the buttercream type icing I usually prefer. This is kind of more of a whipped cream sort of, uh, maybe uh, kind of with a little vegetable oil kind of deal. I do not believe there's buttercream in this icing at all. Seems more like maybe a little Crisco or something in the icing. Okay, there's a little tiny bit of cherry flavor here in the bottom. Let's give this a little bite. And uh, okay, the cherry flavor improves a little bit, but the cake overall is very much more dry than I'm used to. Uh, I'm really used to Black Forest cake that's got a lot more moisture, a lot more cherries in it, a lot more chocolatey goodness to it. This one's uh, kind of just a very dry cake. I'm not enjoying it that much, honestly. So I'd have to say this is probably one of the uh, least favorite versions of the Black Forest cake I've ever had. It's uh, very pretty to look at. It looked great in the display case, but to my taste at least, I'm not really enjoying the flavors and I'm not enjoying the icing and I'm not enjoying the cake. And I want to know where the rest of the cherries are that should be in this thing. And where is the rest of the chocolate should be in this thing. So uh, certainly 
I'm right. uh, just uh, not a big fan of this version of the Black Forest cake here. Now, plenty of other people probably love it. Just to my, you know, my taste is a little different. I have different uh, flavor profiles than other people. I'm sure plenty of other people love this. It's just not my cup of tea. So just like I totally destroyed this cake, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this cake. And while you're down there, make sure to check out like my Patreon account. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $31.50. So, thanks so much to everybody at Hoffer's Bakery for a pleasant experience with the environment and my plate of food. Uh, the cake, uh, just not my favorite. I probably wouldn't get that again myself. Other people probably love it, though. Literally, everybody coming out of this restaurant gave huge compliments and said how much they love the food here. In stark contrast, I have to say that out of all the restaurants I ate out in Helen, Georgia, this was my least favorite. Not that it was bad, I just thought the other places were better. So I guess I just have a little bit different taste profile thing going on with my tongue. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.